Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, especially to all of you Patreons, um, a part of our Patreon, to an exclusive video of Watch the Throne. Again, Watch the Throne is now Patreon exclusive, so the, our Throne Room members are actually getting this um, exclusively right before the Rumble. And ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to rumble. It is a couple of hours before the Rumble right now, um, and, there's, and there's, a, there's a good feeling in the air. I think there's always... A good feeling in the air when it comes to the Royal Rumble um, and what the possibilities could bring. Could we see somebody new? Could we see somebody old? Could we see an NXT call up? Could we see um, could we see someone that we didn't even think of before tonight even happens? And that's the cool thing about the Rumble. That's what makes the Rumble probably the most unique um, match in WWE and probably one of the most anticipated matches each and every year. Rumble was developed by, I believe, Pat Patterson, who came up with the idea, and it's been going on for about 32, 33 years. It's going to be in a baseball stadium, Chase Field, tonight, um, and it's it's going to be a massive event. A lot of rumors are swirling around. I haven't read anything. I haven't read any dirt sheets, because I really want to uh, be surprised. You know, I think in, in wrestling, as when you become more of a mark and a content creator, um, a lot of people... Um, want to be the one to, like, spread the news first and be the one who's right, but that's not why you're in the wrestling. You're not in the wrestling to be right. You're in the wrestling to be surprised, to be shocked, to suspend your disbelief. And what better way to do that is to suspend your disbelief but to watch the most unpredictable match in the history of professional wrestling. This can go so many different ways. And now there's a men's and a women's Royal Rumble. So the possibilities of people showing up are endless. So today, right before the Rumble, I want to break down to you guys the kind of different aspects of the Rumble. When I mean aspects, I mean the different types of participants, per se, that would that you would see within the Rumble. So there's a couple of different participants. You have, you know, you have the regulars, which we, everybody knows regulars, but let's break down the more important different types of participants. You have the, um, the legends. We have the legends that come back. You have the you have the return, the surprise return. So you have the legends. You have a surprise return. They're a little bit different. I'll explain them. Legends surprise return. You have the surprise debut. You have the call up. Um, you have the comedy filler. Okay. And then you just have, you know, the general unexpected. With with WWE being as large as it is right now, the unexpected becomes a huge thing. And I'm going to start there first. If you think about it, if you really, really break it down, the WWE has Raw, Brand, SmackDown, 205 Live, NXT, NXT UK, all going on their own little paths and journeys right now. And anybody on any of those rosters can potentially show up, okay? The unexpected might have kind of gotten there, uh, got a little bit of a uh, of a hint at what you might see if you watched TakeOver last night. Tony Storm and Pete Dunne were in the crowd, so I expect them not to just be there to see a freaking TakeOver show. I expect them to wrestle tomorrow in their perspective, <coughs> excuse me, in their perspective, Royal Rumbles. John Cena will not be appearing because apparently he is ruled out for an ankle injury. If you believe that, I have a bridge to sell you in Brooklyn. Um, so you have this unexpected because anybody can show up from any of these brands at any time to the point where you may not even need any of the other categories, but you actually do kind of need them to keep yourself entertained. Remember, Royal Rumbles usually go an hour. It's hard to be entertained for an entire hour of a wrestling spot. But more often than not, the Royal Rumble is able to do these things. So we've already broken down the unexpected. Let's talk about the legends. You're always going to get a couple of legends, a couple of surprises that you haven't heard or see for a while. Uh, last year, it was Stand Back. There's a hurricane coming through, and the hurricane showed up. A couple of noticeable or uh, memorable legendary people coming back. Diesel came back at the 40-man rumble in Detroit, which was nuts. Uh, Booker T showing up to fight the Nexus. Uh, 
was was crazy. You have um, Bill Goldberg was in the Rumble, although he was an active member of the roster. Um, you have legends like that that just litter the history of the Rumble that show up. They don't win, but they show up, and it's always a good spot. Also, it's big, big legendary moment. 2008 Royal Rumble, you have Rowdy Roddy Piper and... <laughs> And Jimmy Superfly Snooker going at it in a place where they made their names in Madison Square Garden. Unbelievable times here. Um, so we've got the legend. The legend spots are always one of the more expected spots about who might show up, who may bring us that little bit of nostalgia. If we go to the women's legends. Uh, we had a bunch of them. Molly Holly, uh, Tori Wilson, Stratus, Lita all showed up. Um last year for the first ever Women's Royal Rumble, and I expect some repeat performers, Michelle McCool, um, to be there uh, tonight the Rumble. So we have the Legends Returns. Um, so then we have the call-ups. NXT call-ups. The big rumor, or the big thing that I got out of TakeOver last night was Velveteen Dream and Adam Cole did not have matches. Velveteen Dream was seen in the crowd, uh, kind of just fiddling around with his uh, two, two biddies there. And so... Is it possible that Velveteen Dream is getting a call-up? Is he going to make his main roster debut, his call-up, at the Rumble? It's happened before. Sami Zayn did it. Well, Sami Zayn kind of had a had a call after the injury. Sami Zayn did it. Um, Bo Dallas had one. Uh, Rusev was one as well in Rumble Pass. So those call-ups are always interesting. And the interesting thing with calls is that a lot of people, well, when they first started doing the calls, a lot of people didn't know who they really were grown in popularity that the call-ups seem a lot more interesting. Okay, so you have call-ups. So we did the unexpected, the legends, the call-ups. We have the surprise return. People returning from serious career ending injuries. People uh, like John Cena in 2008, which nobody knew was coming. Sami Zayn returning from injury and reigniting his feud with Kevin Owens technical to see. Um, Daniel Bryan coming back from injury and doing pretty much anything <laughs> is a huge, huge sign. But these are the, ret the surprise, unexpected returns. Edge. Edge is a huge one. Edge coming back from another career ending um, that, that should have sidelined him. But it didn't. And he came back and he won the Rumble. A lot of the times those surprise returns from injuries usually win the Rumble on the exception of, you know, Sami Zayn. Uh, unfortunately, because Sami doesn't win shit on the main roster. And then you have... Last but not least, the surprise in-ring debut. And there's no other surprise WWE debut that is more iconic than the debut of AJ Styles in Orlando in, I believe, 2015-2016 uh, at the Royal Rumble. Those are the ones that make a lasting image. AJ Styles debuting in the Royal Rumble lasting 30 minutes. Fantastic. It skyrocketed his WWE career, and he hasn't looked back since. Now, the big rumor, or the, the big speculation is that, are we going to have one of those spots? Those spots don't actually come around often. Are we going to have one of those spots tonight? Is there going to be a, a big name maybe coming out of Japan that could show up? It's possible. Honestly, I don't know. Um, honestly, I don't want to know right now because I want to be surprised if it actually does happen. That's the magic of the Rumbles, that you never know what's going to happen. And to be honest with you, if I can uh, shoot from the hip a little bit, the Royal Rumble um, around this time was the reason I started getting back into wrestling because that, that brought back the excitement of wrestling for me. So I, the Royal Rumble is very near and dear to my heart. I went to the Rumble last year, and that's how we kind of, you know, met Rat with Dan and went on this kind of crazy train. And now we're here at Patreon talking to you guys about one of the most unique matches, or the most unique match, in WWE history. So that's all for today, folks. Let me know what you guys think about the Royal Rumble, some of your favorite Royal Rumble memories. Um, and if somebody wants to house me within the next, like, three hours, please let me know, because I will I will make my way over there. But, ladies and gentlemen, my name is King Ricky Rose. Thank you for watching, Patreon members, and this has been Watch the Throne. I'll see you soon. I'm be the late dog. I had to regulate. Wait, I'm trying to beat that. <laughs> Public service announcement.